Hello everyone, welcome to Neutron Viz Academy. Today, I would like to share how to create a photorealistic environment in D5 Render. Let's start with landscaping tools. The easiest one is the grass material. We just need to change the material type to grass material. There are six different types. We can adjust the grass parameters to get the desired result. For these areas, we can place a tree from the assets library. Although we use the same tree, we can see how D5 render makes the tree look more random. We should separate the layer for trees before the project gets too big. Let's fill this area with advanced brush tool. We can adjust the brush size before painting. We can change to Eraser tool by clicking Alt button. Then, click Add Assets button to a Desire Plants. We can adjust the density by clicking Area button. Moreover, we can adjust the parameters for each type of tree, such as scaling, probability, Moreover, we can detach the single tree from scatter group by using double click and detach button. For the background environment, we can use path for nature tool. We need to define the start and ending points. Then we can add the trees by clicking plus button. We can adjust the parameters to get desired result. We can also duplicate it for use in another area. Let's fill this area with a new AI tool. Click the AI Agent button. In Smart Planting Group, we can see three presets. Select a preset and modify the keywords as desired. And then, click Generate. Then, we will get the list of plants and trees. Click Auto Scatter button and then select the ground that you want to grow plants and then click create after clicking the update all button we will get this result let's create a walkway here in order to make a walkway we can add color effect and then click the walkway area click create we can adjust the walkway area by adjusting the corresponding parameters Let's create a landscape area on the existing terrain. Select the terrain, and then go to the paint section. Add a new ground material. Paint on the surface that we want to grow trees. We can create the walkway by using the same method. Go to the material setting and select create scatter area. This will create the scatter area on the terrain. Click Image Divide to divide the scatter area. Click the Area button and choose a color map. Enter the number you want to use to divide the area. Then, we will get the sub-areas. Select a sub-area and add the desired trees by clicking Add Assets button. We can adjust the density by clicking Sub-Area button. We can also use Scatter Presets by clicking this icon. Let's add some decals. In D5 Render, we can find so many decals in Assets Library. The more decals you add, the more realistic the result will be. For the fallen leaves, we can mix them with the scatter tool to make the scene more realistic. Select Add Scatter Tools and then click Select Material. Then, select the street plane. Click Create. This will create a scatter area. This time, we will choose the Edge Divide icon. We can now select the edge area of the street. 
Then, we just need to add the fallen leaves from the assets library. Adjust the size and density to get the desired result. Let's move to lighting and environment effect. We can create a cloudy atmosphere by simply switching to a cloudy HDRI. Adjust the exposure setting to get normal exposure. Turn on the precipitation effect. It is better to reduce the raindrop transparency and puddle size. Adding vehicles can make the environment feel more lively and realistic. Don't forget to turn on the fog. This will give more depth to our scene. We can apply LUT presets and adjust the intensity to get cinematic look. If you want to achieve a sunshine after the rain effect, simply turn on the sun and adjust its color temperature and intensity. Don't forget to experiment with the sun's direction, as this can give much better results. Let's move to rendering and post-process AI. If you want to use post-process AI, don't forget to check these three things. Make sure the file is saved. Ensure that you are logged into your D5 account. Don't forget to turn on AI Post Channel. We can now render the image. After rendering, click the AI Post Processing button. We should start with AI Enhancer function. You can adjust the parameters as desired. But higher enhancement weights may alter your original design. We can also selectively enhance areas as desired. This time, let's enhance the whole image. Here is the before and after result. We can add some motion blur at effect panel. Select the object that you want to add motion blur. Increase the blur weight to get the desired result. We can also change the sky add in painting section. And we can also change the landscape. This is the end of my tutorial. I hope this covers most of the topics you want to know about. Thanks for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe.